The 1955 John Fowler locomotive was successfully revived on June 18th after a long restoration. With the handbrake on and gearbox in neutral, the team pressed the starter button, hoping for the best. The six-cylinder 150 bhp diesel engine roared back to life and idled smoothly, marking a major milestone for the society and bringing new breath to this historic machine. The original Heidelberg Platten Press, also known as the Heidelberg Windmill, is a German-made letterpress printing machine. Famous for its unique windmill-like paper feed system, it features rotating arms that pick up, align, and deliver sheets automatically. A clamshell mechanism presses paper against an inked form to print. Powered by an electric motor and air pump, it ensures precise, high-speed printing. Two sizes were available, 10 inches X15 and 13 inches X18. The B and WDM 884WS150 is a massive eight-cylinder, double-acting opposed piston diesel engine built in 1933 by Burmeister and Wayne for the HC Orsted power station in Copenhagen, with a bore of 840 millimeters and a stroke of 1,500 millimeters. It operates at 115 revolutions per minute, measuring 24.5 meters long, 12.5 meters high, and weighing 1,400 tons. It held the title of the world's most powerful diesel engine for 30 years. This engineering marvel remains operational and is regularly started on the first and third Sunday of each month at the Diesel House Museum, offering visitors a rare opportunity to witness one of the greatest mechanical achievements of the 20th century in motion. The Deutsch VMA 266 is a powerful 1,000 PS, 8-cylinder, four-stroke diesel engine built in 1937 by Humboldt Deutsch Motor Engine. Originally used to power a 6 kV AEG generator for broadcasting, it is the last operational engine of its kind worldwide. 
With a 664 meter displacement and dry sump lubrication, it weighs 56 tons. Today, it is preserved and demonstrated monthly at the Koenig's Wusterhausen Museum. Need the Detroit diesel 16 volts 92 fuel and beef with an engine with 16 cylinders arranged in a V-block and a lung busting displacement of 24.1 liters. Born into the rugged 92 series bloodline, this two-stroke monster breathes with the help of a turbocharger and punches out up to 1,500 horsepower in a jaw-dropping 3,200 pound-feet of torque. It doesn't whisper, it growls, and it does so aboard tugboats, ferries, and deep-sea fishing vessels where failure isn't an option and brute strength is the standard. What makes it legendary isn't just the power, it's the clever engineering. That two-stroke setup gives it a power-to-weight ratio that's hard to beat. Plus, fewer moving parts means simpler maintenance. Whether it's pushing steel through salt water or grinding through industrial loads, the 16 volts 92 TA is built to take punishment and keep going. It's not just an engine, it's a war horse. Give it regular care and it'll return the favor with years of relentless, smoke-belching service. The 500KV8 Cummins diesel generator is a high-capacity power unit designed for industrial application. Powered by a reliable Cummins engine, it delivers 500 kilovolt amperes of electricity. Known for its durability of the thumb, it will ensure stable backup power, even during full starts of power. The Mitsubishi S6R2 MPC-10 is a six-cylinder, turbocharged, water-cooled diesel engine built in Japan for marine propulsion and auxiliary. With 29.96 L displacement, it delivers up to 829 bhp while maintaining a compact footage. Its reliable, fuel-efficient design includes individual cylinder and MHI turbo technology, making it ideal for ferries, tugboats, and workboats.
65 John Fowler locomotive was successfully revived on June 18th after a long rest. With the handbrake on and gearbox in neutral, the team pressed the start button, hoping for the best. The six-cylinder 150 bhp diesel engine roared back to life and idled smoothly, marking a major milestone for the society and bringing new breath to this historic machine. <laughs> The 1948 Gibson tractor, commonly the Model D, was equipped with a six-horsepower Wisconsin APH air-cooled engine. Known for its ruggedness, it served small farms reliably. Gibson also offered models like the A, SD, Super D, and Super D2, using similar or upgraded Wisconsin engines for greater performance. The 1912 Hornsby six horsepower oil engine, Type L, was an advanced hot bulb engine developed by Richard Hornsby and Sons. Running on heavy oil, it featured a vaporizing combustion chamber, cam driven valves, and a cast iron base. As an evolution of the Hornsby Ackroyd design, it paved the way for future diesel technology. The Simplex 5 HP marine engine, built in Sydney by Hardman and Hall since the 1930s, is a robust four-stroke side valve engine designed for small fishing craft. Model number 736 features a single cylinder with an integral forward reverse gearbox and was likely one of the earlier versions. Though it now has a non-original muffler, it runs smoothly once the Schiebler Model D carburetor is properly adjusted. Known for durability and simplicity, this Australian-made engine was also offered in direct drive, clutch, or reverse gear version. It remains a classic of marine engineering heritage. process of running a turbocharger on a vintage hit-and-miss engine. 
the turbo is connected to the engine's exhaust to compress intake air, aiming to boost performance. Although hit and miss engines operate intermittently and lack the exhaust pressure typical turbos need, the experiment showcases creative engineering. It highlights how even old engines can be modified to test modern turbocharging concepts in a unique way. The original Heidelberg Platten Press, also known as the Heidelberg Windmill, is a German-made letterpress printing machine. Famous for its unique windmill-like paper feed system, it features rotating arms that pick up, align, and deliver sheets automatically. A clamshell mechanism presses paper against an ink form to print. Powered by an electric motor and air pump, it ensures precise, high-speed printing. Two sizes were available. 10 inches x 15 and 13 inches x 18. The W2 Venominsori is a Wickstrom W2 two-cylinder marine engine known for its reliability and performance. Commonly used in small boats, it offers dependable operation and simple maintenance. Its robust construction has made it a trusted choice for boating enthusiasts and fishermen over the years. 